So this problem says, let a chopstick of length 20.32 centimeters have a density distribution function rho of x equals 0.11x plus 0 0.28, where x is measured in centimeters from the left end and rho of x in grams per centimeter. Now we we're going to compute the center of mass on this chopstick. Now if I draw my chopstick on here, I'm going to put the small end over here and the bigger end over here because of the way that Rho is. Rho is an increasing function of x, a linear function with a positive slope. That means that smaller numbers will be for smaller values of x and bigger numbers. So the density will increase, as does the thickness of the chopstick. So the chopstick measures 20.32 centimeters. This is the x-axis. Now, if I want to guess my center of mass, say, you know, if you took a chopstick and you balanced it on your finger, that's what we're looking for is a center of mass. So you don't expect it to be directly in the center at 20 point, at 10.16. You kind of expect it to be a little bit past that. So you want it to be past 10.16 centimeters. So that's kind of a good reference point to know if your answer is good or accurate. Now, according to the formula that we derived in class and the formula that probably is in your textbook, for those of you not in my class, the definition of center of mass is the integral from A to B, X times the density DX divided by my integral from A to B of my density of DX. It's a pretty straightforward formula as long as you have your density. Now, I'm just going to write these out based on what I have. And my A to B is the length of my chopstick. So I'm going to integrate from 0 to 20.32 of x times 0.11x plus 0.28 dx divided by 0 to 20.32 of 0.11x plus 0.28 dx. And I got a really good question the other day is, can't I just take that x out and cancel? Well, no, you can't because that's a variable. That variable will affect the size of this integral. You should graph it. Graph this integrand and graph this integrand and see how much area is under here versus here. You just can't cancel and hope to get the right answer. You have to always do the integral first and then you can simplify. Now that is the integral. If I go ahead and put each of these integrals into my calculator, say, on the top, I get 365.4462. And on the bottom, I get 28.3992. And if I simplify that, I get a center of mass that is about 12.8682. Now, what unit of measure should I put on there? Well, a center of mass is just the distance from one end of where the balance is or where the fulcrum is or whatever you want to call it. So that's just a single linear function right now. So the center of mass of my chopstick is about 12.8682 centimeters from this end. Right there, which is as we expected.